안녕하십니까? 온라인 서전의 김경원입니다. Greetings. I'm Dr. Kim g y o n g w o n of Online Surgery. I d like to share with you a surgical clip. The patient of the day is a female patient who is 30 years old. At initial visit, you can see number 25 is fractured. A CT and panoramic images were observed, and in number 26, there was a periapical lesion, and on the buccal side, there was alveolar bone defect, and the plan was to extract number 25 and 26. Socket preservation was planned as well. The surgery itself was to use crystal approach to place two implants, Leos bovine bone will be used for sinus lift as well. If you take a look over here at initial visit in number 25, the crown fracture can be observed in Comium CT image. There is apical lesion. The patient received endodontic treatment in the past, but you can see there is problem. And in number 26, on the buccal side, there is bone defect. Because there was periapical lesion, number 25 and 26 were to be extracted. I did not do socket preservation myself. I do not have images of socket preservation at the time. This is after two weeks. Stitch out was performed. The surgery was delayed quite significantly because in the middle, because of COVID-19 vaccine, there were side effects associated with it and the patient's condition was not really good. Patient's health was affected and surgery was delayed significantly about one month and 10 days after socket preservation and this is after two months and 10 days. These are the panoramic images. And this is after four months since uh, socket preservation in number 25, as shown earlier in the buccal and palatal area, there was a bit of alveolar bone left. Socket preservation is nicely maintained. In the case of number 26, there was a bit of buccal bone resorption. After four months since the socket preservation, the healing tendencies are as shown, and after consultation with one guide team, surgical plan was established for number 25 and 26 as for number 25 diameter 4.5 and for number 26 diameter 5.0 implant placement was planned. In number 25, from implant top to the inferior border of the sinus, the minimum alveolar bone height was 6 mm and the maximum residual alveolar bone height was 7 mm. We assume the residual alveolar bone to be about 6 mm, so the initial drilling was going to be done from 5 mm. Because there is inclination, I am assuming that penetration is going to happen at over 7 mm. Next is number 26. The minimum residual bone height up to the sinus inferior border is about 2 millimeters. This to that, that, there is about 6 millimeters of residual bone height. The sinus floor is inclined significantly. In doing penetration, I think we need to use a longer drill for penetration. Let me briefly explain about the drill sequence for number 25. The implant diameter is going to be 4.5 by 8.5 millimeter, and the residual bone height is considered to be 6 millimeters. There's going to be 1.2 millimeters of difference. The final drill is going to be up to 3.3. As you can see, because the residual bone height is 6 mm, the initial drill is going to be 2.2 by 7 mm twist drill with 2 mm stopper. So drilling is going to be done up to 5 mm. After that, we're going to expand our drill hole size up to 3.3, which is the final drill diameter. At the time, depth gauge was used to check whether sinus floor has been penetrated, but it didn't. So final drill diameter of 3.3 was used to gradually increase the drill length to penetrate the sinus floor. After using 3.3 by 7 mm drill, when I used a 4 mm depth gauge, partial penetration was observed. As a result, 3.3 by 10 mm drill with 2 mm stopper was used for full penetration, hydraulic lift was done, bone grafting was done, and implant was placed. As for number 26, a 5.0 mm implant was planned, the residual bone was 2 mm. As for initial drill, the plan was to use up to 3.8 millimeters, which has 1.2 millimeters of difference. 
First initial drilling was done up to 1 mm using 2.2 by 7 mm drill with 6 mm stopper. After continuing to drill up to 1 mm using 2.8 and 3.8, drill length will be lengthened gradually to attempt a sinus floor penetration. Drilling was done up to 4 mm using 3 mm stopper. But still then, as shown earlier, because there was significant inclination, even with 4 mm it was not fully penetrated, so drilling was done up to 5 mm. In other words, 2 mm stopper was used, hydraulic lift was done, bone grafting was done, and then implant was placed. This is pre panoramic image when cast was used for bone graft and implant placement. This is immediate post-op image. In the front, there is 4.5 diameter implant, and in the back, there is 5.0 diameter implant. This is immediate post-op CT image. You can see that bone graft has been done in the sinus floor and ISQ value is about 72. And in number 26, bone graft was performed and implant was placed as shown. After patient's initial visit, about six months later extractions were performed, socket preservation was done, and after four months implants were placed. After 4.5 months after implant placement, this is the image, CT was taken in number 25, you can see bone formation here, and in number 26, healing is done like this. ER prosthesis were delivered. As shown, at the beginning, the patient came in with fractured tooth and this is after final prosthesis delivery. Let's take a look at the surgical clip. First, we're checking whether the one guide template adaptation is done nicely and it looks stable. I'm checking the distal side as well. And then tissue punch is used for number 25. Regular whole size tissue punch is used. In number 26, wide type gold rim tissue punch is used to remove overriding mucosa. Template is removed to check whether soft tissue has been fully removed. You can see tissue punch has been done nicely. Template is adapted once again. For initial drill, 2.2 by 7 mm twist drill with 2 mm stopper is used to drill up to 5 mm. 2.8 by 7 mm drill with 2 mm stopper is used to drill up to 5 mm. This drill diameter is the same as the final drill diameter. 3.3 by 7 mm drill with 2 mm stopper is used. Drill hole size is being expanded. I have drilled up to 5 mm, so depth gauge with 5 mm stopper is used to check the sinus floor. It is not penetrated, it is not in contact. 3.3 by 7 mm drill plus 1 mm stopper, so I'm drilling up to 6 mm. I'm gradually increasing the length by 1 mm because I've drilled up to 6 mm for depth gauge, 4 mm stopper is used to check whether penetration is done. Sinus floor is not fully penetrated, so contact is not done properly. I'm going to drill up to 7 mm without stopper. 3.3 by 7 mm drill is used. without stopper. Drilling has been done up to 7 mm. Depth gauge is 10 mm, so 3 mm stopper is used to check up to 7 mm and see whether the sinus floor has been fully penetrated. The contact is not properly done. It's not fully penetrated. Although drilling has been done up to 7 mm, it's not fully penetrated. 3.3 by 10 mm drill with 2 mm stopper is used. Drilling is done up to 8 mm. When doing this, 
I get the sense that sinus of floor has been penetrated. Two millimeter stopper is used to check whether sinus floor has been penetrated. If you take a look, a stopper is fully in contact with a template. In other words, the sinus floor has been penetrated. Hydraulic lift is prepared. Hydraulic membrane lifter is used. This is fully adapted and by doing this, hydraulic lift is possible. In 3 mm syringe, 2.5 cc is added and gradually by 0.5 cc advancements are made. When you do aspiration, as you can see, blood comes out and there's no air. So you can check up in this way that there's no sinus membrane perforation. And then bone grafting is done. A os bovine bone is used. It is applied in bone carrier. The bone graft material is irrigated and gradually bone grafting is done. Using hydraulic lifter tool, aspiration is done once again so that graft material can be concentrated. 4.5 by 8.5 KS3BA implant is irrigated and is positioned. Using engine, the implant is positioned about 80%. After that, the implant driver is used to adjust to final depths. Primary stability is fairly favorable. It is over 30 Newton centimeters. Yellow mark is utilized. For number 26, a 7 mm drill with a 6 mm stopper is used to drill 1 mm. 2.8 by 7 mm drill with 6 mm stopper is used. Because I am using one casket, 1 mm drilling is possible. However, this would not be easy if I were to do this freehand. The final diameter is 3.8. So 3.8 by 7 mm drill with 6 mm stopper is used. The guide barrel exists, so 1 mm drilling is possible. 3.8 by 7 mm drill with 5 mm stopper is used to drill 2 mm. In order to penetrate the sinus floor, we are proceeding with the drilling. Because drilling has been done up to 2 mm, 8 mm stopper is connected to check with depth gauge. The sinus floor is not penetrated, so the stopper is not in contact with a template. 7 mm drill with 4 mm stopper is used, so drilling up to 3 mm is done. Because there is significant inclination in sinus floor, more so than thought, the penetration is being done more slowly. 7 mm stopper is added to the depth gauge, so drilling up to 3 mm is confirmed. You can check that sinus floor has not been penetrated. 3.8 by 7 mm with 3 mm stopper is used to drill up to 4 mm. Drilling has been done up to 4 mm, so on depth gauge, 6 mm stopper is added to check. You can see that sinus floor has not been penetrated yet. Depth gauge is not going in fully. 7 mm drill with 2 mm stopper is used to drill up to 5 mm. When drilling up to 5 mm was done, I got a sense that sinus floor was penetrated. Drilling was done up to 5 mm, so depth gauge plus 5 mm stopper is used. You can see that there is contact and there is penetration. Hydraulic lift is performed. Hydraulic lift is done with the template on. In 3cc syringe, we are advancing gradually by 0.5cc because bone graft has been done. Air is not coming out, but you can see negative pressure. 
there is blood and negative uh, pressure, so you can check that sinus membrane has not been perforated. You cannot see it visually, but you can still get reassurance. After that, AOS bovine bone is used for bone graft. Irrigated bone graft material is being grafted in the sinus. Hydraulic lifter is used once again and aspiration is done to check whether sinus membrane has been penetrated and so that the graft material can be concentrated in the site of interest. There is no air coming out whatsoever. KS3 BA surface 5.0 by 8.5 mm implant is used. Implant is positioned 80% using engine. Implant is positioned. Because there's a lot of inclination in the residual alveolar bone, implant driver is used to get the final position. Final torque is over 30 newton centimeters. You can see that implant has been positioned properly. Smart peg is connected and ISQ value is measured in number 25. In number 25, the value is about 72, and moving on to number 26, it's about 75, 71. Primary stability is fairly favorable. In the mesial side, 4.5 by 5 millimeter, and on the distal side, 5.0 by 4 millimeter healing abutment is connected. Surgery has been completed in this way. This is the surgical clip that I wanted to share with you today. About four months ago, AOS particulate bone graft was used for socket preservation, and in that position, we used one cast kit to place two implants using crystal approach. Thank you for watching.